All right, thanks for watching. And today I wanna to give you a super elegant and visual way of finding the area of a parallelogram or finding the formula for the determinant. And by the way, this is not due to me, it's due to a subscriber called Loïc Etienne. And to him, I just wanna say merci beaucoup. What does a determinant measure? It's the sine area of a parallelogram. And in particular, the idea is, first let's chop off or decompose this parallelogram into easier figures. In particular, or namely, consider the following small rectangle formed by the vertices, kind of like this. And then, from this rectangle, you can also join the vertices, like this vertex, with the one of this parallelogram, and then this vertex with the northeast vertex. All right, and in particular, and that's kind of due to symmetry, notice that we do have congruent triangles. For instance, this triangle has the same area as this one, and then this triangle has the same area as this one. And what do we want to do? And by the way, this is similar to the classical derivation of the determinant, but again, slightly more elegant, as you'll see soon. The idea is what we want to do. We want to deform this triangle a little bit but without changing the area. And in order to do that, consider now the big rectangle that the parallelogram is inside of, maybe this one. And then chop it off into smaller rectangles as well. Like this one, this one, this one, this one and this one. So I believe nine rectangles in total. Okay, now I want you to remember, what is the area of a triangle is just one half times base times height. And so look at this triangle here, the red one. The base is here, but actually the height is here. So by the formula one half base times height, it turns out the area of this rect triangle is actually the same as half of the area of this rectangle. So kind of like this. So you can deform the, tri the can deform the triangle to actually get one half of this rectangle. Kind of like this. Whoosh. And again, I wish I was like three blue, one brown, where I can just give you a computer simulation. I don't know. <laughs> okay, and similarly here we get that the area of this red triangle is actually one half of the area of this red. Kind of like this. And notice it is similar with this blue triangle. The base is here and the height is here. So actually the area of this blue triangle is the same as the air half of the area of that rectangle. Like this, and then we're almost done. And also here. Same thing with this and half of this one. All right, and then it's just a matter of putting things together. Well, notice this area is the same thing as this one. So if I, the area of that rectangle. And same thing here, the area of this, those are the same, and it's half of this. So in fact, it's the area of this whole square, or whole rectangle. And remember, this part was still part of the parallelogram. So now, 
what is the area of the parallelogram? It's simply the area of this rectangle here minus the area of this rectangle here. But now, if you want, you know, some notation, let's finally introduce some math notation. Well, what did we have? I believe this was the original vertex of the parallelogram. Let's say AB. This was this other vertex. Let's say CD. And remember, the other ones were like here and here. But then, what is this vertex? Well, it's just AD. What is this vertex? I think uh, CB. And well, I know. It's very exciting. Now, what is the area of this rectangle? Well, base is A, height is D, so AD. What is the area of this rectangle, BC? And therefore, the determinant is just AD minus BC. I know. How cool is that? All right, if you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.